Actors might get paid obscene amounts of money to do what they do, but that doesn't always mean that they have a ball when they do it. Working on a movie can be really tough, especially when you don't like the person you're starring with. Join us as we take a look at 10 times actors refuse to shoot scenes together, ranked from reasonable to ridiculous. This sounds like the most toxic work environment in the world, so buckle your seatbelts. Wesley Snipes kicked butt as Blade in the movie franchise, but when it came to the third installment, he reportedly got too big for his boots. One of his co-stars, comedian Patton Oswalt, dished out the dirt on the horrific filming experience had by all on Blade Trinity. According to Oswalt, Snipe didn't want anything to do with the other actors and wasn't interested in sharing niceties. He reportedly was always holed up in his trailer getting high and even tried to strangle the movie's director after a disagreement. In the end, Snipes only shot close-ups and let stand-ins do most of his scenes. Although it looks like Oswald and Snipes have multiple scenes together, they only filmed one. When the director David Goyer asked Snipes to quit, Snipes stood his ground and communicated via post-it notes. Yikes. Nick Nolte and Julia Roberts starred alongside each other in the 1994 comedy I Love Trouble. If you've never heard of it, don't panic, you're not alone. The movie never had quite the same following as the likes of Pretty Women, probably because the frost lines between Nolte and Roberts was palpable. It seems that neither Roberts nor Nolte could even stand to be in the same room as each other. Multiple sources confirmed that the tension on set was unbearable. In the end, things got so bad between the actors that they even shot scenes with stand-ins to avoid seeing each other completely. According to the Los Angeles Times, Roberts disliked Nolte's macho persona and purposely insulted him as a result. Ouch. During the press tour for the movie, the actress let slip to the New York Times that Nolte was quote, charming and nice, but also completely disgusting. Now Julia, is that a professional thing to say about someone you worked with? <laughs> we think not, and neither did Nolte. The Atlantic has him responding to this with, it's not nice to call someone disgusting, but she's not a nice person. Everyone knows that. Needless to say, they haven't worked with each other since. It's difficult to think of Richard Gere as an uber butch pain in the butt, isn't it? But according to Sylvester Stallone, the actor was the most obnoxious guy he's ever worked with. Or should we say almost worked with. The actors were both set to star in Lord of Flatbush, but only one would see the project to completion, and it was all down to a chicken sandwich. During an interview with Ain't It Cool, Sylvester said that Gear was aggressive during an improv scene and couldn't be cooled down as he was so in character. That rubbed the veteran actor the wrong way, and things went bad from worse at lunchtime. Things came to a head when Gear dropped grease from his chicken sandwich on Stallone's pants, who then elbowed him in the head and pushed him out of the car. Quote, Richard was given his walking papers and to this day seriously dislikes me, said the Rocky star. I apologize if I absolutely butcher the pronunciation of these two names, but Juliana Margulis and Archie Punjabi shared incredible chemistry on The Good Wife, playing two unlikely best friends brought together by work. Initially, the pair had tons of scenes together. That is, until a plot twist had Punjabi's character sleep with Margulis's on-screen husband. After that, they didn't shoot any scenes together for a long time. What's the big deal, you ask? Surely this is just beef between fictional characters and stays in the show. We thought that too. But various media outlets reported that the story was actually written that way because the two actors were feuding in real life and didn't want to shoot scenes together. On the season six finale, the two characters reunited, but Margulis and Punjabi still didn't film it together. Juliana blamed it on Archie's TV schedule, but the fall star wasn't having that and took the dispute to Twitter. The fall wasn't even in production at the time and I was in New York ready to film the scene, she said. Hmm, interesting. It seems there's a lot of bad blood on The Good Wife. This one doesn't really have anything to do with clashes between actors, but that's what makes it all the more frustrating. Will Smith is known as a pretty cool guy in Hollywood today, but in 1993, he was still trying to figure some stuff out. When filming Six Degrees of Separation, his character was supposed to kiss his co-star, Anthony Michael Hall, but Smith was so freaked out about the idea of male-on-male -male intimacy that he backed out of doing the scene entirely. He just couldn't bring himself to do it, so asked for a stand-in to do it for him. Smith later admitted that this was totally immature on his part, 
but that he couldn't get over what his friends would think. At least we know that Smith wouldn't be so dismissive these days. British actress Kate Beckinsale knows her stuff. She's been around for a while and has always been involved in the industry. Her father was the late actor Richard Beckinsale. Unfortunately, her co-star in 2007's Vacancy didn't show the same professionalism. The New York Post's page six soon picked up on rumors of a rift between Beckinsale and Luke Wilson, with a source putting it down to Wilson's heavy drinking. He would often stay out late partying and then turn up hungover on the set. When Beckinsale decided that enough was enough, they ended up filming most of the movie separately. Isn't it weird to think that half of what's on screen is only edited to make it look like the stars are together? That's movie magic, I guess. Everyone thinks of Bill Murray as one funny guy, and that he couldn't possibly be mean to anyone. He's Bill Murray! Ask Charlie's Angels co-star Lucy Liu what she thinks about him, though, and you'll likely get a frosty reaction. While filming the 2000 movie, Murray allegedly stopped a scene halfway through to call Lou out on her performance. He is reported shouting, what in the hell are you doing here? You can't act. Unsurprisingly, Lou didn't take kindly to Murray and it was a little tense for the remainder of shooting the movie. It's not hard to see why Murray was absent for the 2003 follow-up. There are a lot of characters in Game of Thrones, so it's not surprising that some of the major players haven't crossed paths yet. However, it is odd that Cersei Lannister hasn't ever met her brother Jaime's guard, Bronn. Considering that they've been in such close proximity for literal years, why haven't they shared a scene or two? Fans started questioning it, and soon enough, many found reasons why. The Telegraph speculated that Hetty and Flynn used to be romantically involved back in the early 2000s, but it ended so badly that they've never been able to get back on track. The split was so bitter that all these years on, they still aren't able to be in the same room together. Breakups can be tricky, but this one must have been insane for this amount of friction to be circulating over 15 years later. We all know that Emma Watson likes to keep her image clean. We've never seen her embroiled in a public scandal. The girl played Hermione Granger, for goodness sake. She's not about to get crazy, and we don't see her pulling a full Lindsay Lohan anytime soon. With that being said, it's a wonder that Watson ever signed on to be a part of the 2013 movie, This Is The End, starring James Franco and Seth Rogen. This movie is a parody of what would happen if the apocalypse suddenly started in Hollywood, with the actors playing exaggerated versions of themselves. Watson was a good sport and signed on for a bit part, but according to an anonymous crew member, she couldn't get down with one particular scene. The shot was supposed to be of Channing Tatum dancing in a thong, getting up close and personal with the Harry Potter star. But when she walked on set, she couldn't take how vulgar it was. The source went on to explain that Channing was a little too raunchy for Emma, who immediately stormed off set with her publicist. Sounds a little nuts, right? We'd say it was a complete fabrication, but James Franco pretty much confirmed the whole scenario to interview. He said, this actress, I won't say who, but she had a smaller role in the film, walked off the movie in the middle of a scene. What was going on around her was, I guess, too extreme for her. Some might say this was a little diva-ish, but let's face it, everyone has the right to back out of a situation they don't feel 100% comfortable in. You'd have thought these two would have a lot in common. Both of them have made a living out of playing bald, tough man roles, but apparently that's where the similarities start to end. When talking to Vanity Fair in 2006 about his experience working on the Fast and the Furious movie, Diesel dropped some bombs. He explained that although working with the likes of Michelle Rodriguez and the other females was a pleasure, some of the male actors were, well, we can't quote him directly, but let's just say he thought they were all wimps. It wasn't clear at the time who Vin was referring to, but the truth came out in 2018. In an interview with the Rolling Stone, Johnson said that he and Vin didn't shoot any scenes together during the movie because of, quote, fundamental differences in philosophies on how we approach movie making. What does that even mean? Come on guys, hash it out. You're meant to be manly men, not the kind of guys who throw hissy fits over literally nothing. This beating around the bush is not impressive at all. Well, there you have it. What do you think? Are these overpaid babies or would you have flipped your lid too? Thanks for watching.